I've been playing Hunt Showdown a bit with Mitch. Welcome, welcome to Ratchet. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> Ratchet. Hunt, sh- Hunt Showdown. I've, yeah. I've seen that game. I thought it, I think it would be cool, but I don't know it. Um, difficult. Because that's a multiplayer game, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's one of those like Battle Royale slash PvP B- Is this PvPVE. That's not a asymmetric yeah, thing, mean. right? Where like e- each player is a humanoid character. Is that correct? Uh, or some of them monsters? No, everyone is a person. You're a hunter. You come in, you have to go and hunt down one of the three monsters. Right. And then everyone else is also trying to do that that are in the same team. Right, yeah, or okay. In different teams. Yeah, I remember seeing it. I think that game would be cool. Yeah, it's fun. There's RNG. Like, I should I should get that so we can play sometime. <laughs> it's three player. Oh, that'd be perfect. Yeah. I should get that. I yeah. mean, it's probably not that expensive on Steam. No, it's like 20 bucks. Yeah. Remind, mm. remind me. I'll buy, I'll buy that later. Okay. I, that's what I meant. Like when I mentioned or when I talked to you before, I'm like, you know, I was talking about some Steam games that we could play remotely. That's what I was talking about. Is like games that we both own that we could play multiplayer. Yeah. I don't think there's a lot that I own that you probably do, but yeah, no, I have many, many games. I know you do. So, well, I, I've I've certainly come into that <clears throat> fold a little bit of like. Buying games that are cheap and then not liking them and never playing them. Yeah. Watch that. No, I didn't buy that. No, I got uh, Ark Survival or something. I don't really uh, like that game. I love Ark. Well, I think part of it is like I'm playing it by myself and I don't really know the systems that are in it. I don't know what's going on. You definitely need to play with someone that knows how things are going. Because I got like a thousand something hours in that game. Oh. Anne's got like 500, 600. That'd be me and uh, Dragon's Dogma. Yeah. You gotta get a pillow. There's a pillow here. Not, he says, no, those are for you. Okay. I gotta turn subtitles on and the vibration off again for some fucking reason. I don't know why it's on right now. Hey, it's okay. See? I'm not ratchet. I'm, I'm gonna, a girl. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit too. I'm a girl. Yeah. Ratchet. Gotta go. Here, it'll help me get home. I designed it to be one size fits all. My name's Rivet. Thank you. Rivet. She did, I don't know that yet. Don't she just said Rivet. Did you? Okay. Yeah, like the person we just saved said it. Oh, okay. I missed that too when I first played it. I'm like, oh, that's her name. Okay. <laughs> ah. Yeah, baby. Do you know who voices Rivet? The, that one girl? Jennifer Hale. Yeah. She did Fem Shep, bro. Yeah. I remember that. <clears throat> Look at those ears move. Yeah. I don't know about you, Billy, but um, with every game I've been playing lately, I opt for performance over visual fidelity. I get both, so I, I I probably get both. I get both pretty well, but I still usually go for frame rate over. I tend to go for visual visual fidelity, but since my stuff's powerful enough, I'm able to also get the. Uh, I also still get to uh, have uh, the performance, though if I have to, I, I prefer to have the performance at max Yeah, that's over the graphical. That's on time. <clears throat> uh, I try to get it you know, highest performance, but at 4K. Don't forget those... Subtitles? Yeah, subtitles. Yeah, I don't know why they weren't on. I haven't played this game in a little bit, actually, so I, I gotta remember how to do it. Me either. <laughs> you haven't played it before, have you? <laughs> nah. What do you think so far, baby? Well, it looks pretty. That's the thing, I remember when I first Lots played this colors. part. When I first played this part, I'm like... It's such a far cry from the original game, where there was like hardly, like you see like a, a spaceship or two flying around every once in a while, and like you see this and like how much like. <laughs> yeah, this was clearly like, hey, we're trying to showcase the power. Yeah. Of. Of the PlayStation. 5. Yeah, this PlayStation. Um, this yeah. Router looks really good. Um, we have played two Ratchet games on this show. <laughs> yeah. Um. 
up your arsenal? No, we played a uh, crack in time and and the, going the no the 2016 remake of the original game. I thought we played going commando. That's one of my favorite. That's probably my favorite one. The U.S. military has shot down a Chinese surveillance balloon off <laughs> yeah, the it's... coast of South Carolina. <clears throat> I remember <clears throat> Canada was watching it, but they didn't shoot it down. Yeah. <laughs> like what? It it. it Went a little bit into Canada, but it mainly went like Alaska and then a little bit into Canada and then it came out into America again and America, Canada. <clears throat> what? Why is it just flying around a balloon? Yeah. You know. I haven't heard of this part. Balloon things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I heard I heard about it vaguely. I haven't really been keeping up on my balloon news. That's crazy. You know, Chris, we'll refill your shit. Billy, I'm curious, because you know more than I would. Is, does The graphics card that I have on my computer, <laughs> is it the same or like on par with the PS5, would you say? Um, I'd have to look up the PS5 spec. Yeah, because I honestly don't know. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, I don't know if, if it would be worth like upgrading that graphics card at some point soon. I haven't had any complaints with anything. I, I tend to run stuff at a lower resolution than my monitor because my monitor is fucking huge. Yeah. I usually run it at 1080 instead of the native um, resolution. Uh, no, yours is underpowered. Underpowered comparatively. Yeah. Interesting. Your because uh, the graphics card that they use in the PS5 is a. RTX 2080 Super, basically. Okay, okay. That's good to know. So, you're one generation lower. Okay. Because you, you have the 10... 1070. The 1070, yeah. <clears throat> well, one... I mean, wasn't there a... Were you guys doing that whole swap trade-down thing at some point? Or is that... I know you... Uh, it's, probably been done I still there. have it. How about, what? Which I, one was it? Uh, I have uh, the 2070. So that would be the on par with the PlayStation Five. Uh, slightly under. But slightly yes. under, but more on par. Yes. How much did you want for it? Um, <clears throat> back then I wanted, I think it was four hundred dollars. Okay, that's good. Much for what I. Uh, want. It's cheaper now since uh, graphics cards have really gone down in yeah. in market price. I'd have to talk to Ann, but it's probably gonna be like two hundred bucks. If you if you were getting rid of it for two hundred bucks, I might take you up on that. Okay. Ew, is that a shaved llama? It, it literally Ew. came up. Ew. It's <laughs> like I, they know. <laughs> it's like I they like know. I did not search this. I, I like that. I think, it's, I think it's cute. Yeah, you, you never it search up... looks like a little corn pod. You never search yeah. up Tom Green and he comes up all the time. Oh Melissa God. loves... You know what Melissa was doing the other night, she tells me? Hmm. I was busy playing playing my cowboy game. Cowboys. And and she comes into my room and she's like, you know what I've been doing for the past four hours is looking at cow eggs. Cow eggs. <laughs> Why are you out in the middle? I'm not, because you you uh, like I were going you were going back and forth with your family about cow eggs. Cow I'm eggs. Privately. Are we talking to like uh it's like, like it's the like, ovulation like, eggs? No no cows? no no no. It's like a it's like a little like keychain toy or something. Oh okay. Privately. What? I, that's not like I'm airing dirty laundry. It's just it's something that you were doing. Bitch. No, it's something that you were just looking at the other day for like four hours. Because then she comes in and she's like, it's 11 o'clock already. I'm like, yep. You know, the things that I've been hearing a lot about, squishmallows. Yeah, we got two of them. They're great. We got one that looks like me and we got a fox. Okay, but the only reason we have them is because we sent them to each other where we could not see each other. Yeah, I know. So it's like, here, hug this stupid thing. I know. But they're, so, they're well, well they're, but they're comfy. They're, they're becoming very popular. They're, they're kind of like... Um, Are they beanie babies. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Actually, yes. What's your, what's the one you said you have a fox? We have a fox and we have a may cat one. The fox. The calico his cat. Name yeah. is Fauna. I think. Fauna. Okay. Ours is named Squeege. The cat. I can't remember the name. Ours is named Squeege. We named our fox Squeege. And they're the big ones. Yeah, they're bigger. Not yeah. those little tiny guys. Oh. You getting this crucial so like pot, that, baby? Like that pink one? 
Yes, I think. Double check. Right no, that's not it. Oh, okay. I thought its name was Fauna. You know, this was a shock for me. They brought back Nefarious because I thought he died. In yeah, I time. thought he did too. One of these? Yeah, that first one. That's okay. the one. That's the one. So that one's only 20 bucks. Well, they have to accrue in value yet. Yeah. That's... There are some that are super rare. <clears throat> are they going to be making VHS tapes on how these are going to... The price of these is going to go up and they're going to become collector's items? Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. That's... All right, Billy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface this game a little bit for you, too. Um... I feel like this is a game that they made kind of again to uh, yeah kind of to get used to the PS5 architecture, um, which I believe is probably easier to develop for than the old older systems because yeah I believe um, they they made it more friendly yeah I think it's mostly just like a PC now, um, which is great. Um, speaking of that, reminds me that for no reason that Last of Us Part One is getting ported to PC in March. Um, that I'll actually probably buy that and play it. Yeah, I'm like debating on whether to get it for PlayStation Five or just wait for PC. But I'll play it with my uh, my PS4 controller. Yeah, but anyway, um, this game. Yeah, I feel like it was certainly like you know a game where they wanted to just kind of test the waters a little bit because um, I'm gonna just spoil it for you now. Like the only elements of this game are like the running around type levels. There aren't any like spaceship levels or races or anything like that. Oh. Which kind of sucks. Um, so that's like my really only big complaint with the game is that it's primarily just this, like you're just running around shooting dudes. But it's still a really uh, fantastic entry in the Ratchet series. And I know you haven't seen anything about it, right? Yeah, no, no, anything. This, so. the, the only thing I've seen is that one GIF where uh, <clears throat> they took. Uh, I like this part too because this gigantic thing, we fall off of it, and then it's like, where does it go? Yeah. Like, where'd it go? It just disappeared. <laughs> like, you don't hear a crash, you don't hear anything, it's just gone. Man, he's so ray traced. No, he's not. What's, um, so, yeah, you saw a gif of what now? Um, what's her face? Rivet? Yeah, Rivet is, uh, that one girl from uh, the TV show. I can pull it up. Sorcerer or the Shatter Bomb. I'll do the Shatter Bomb, I guess. Okay, yes. I don't. Okay. Just give me the fucking weapon, you bitch. This game's not as funny as the other ones, too, in my opinion. And I think it's because it's rated E. For everyone? Yeah, I think, I think they. Not that the game has to be like. Yeah. That's the only thing I've seen of her. Oh, well, that's just a random part of the game. <laughs> yeah, because it's exactly the same as a person. Um, oh, is it? Yeah. yeah no idea. Yeah, I, I like Rivet a lot in this game. She's great. First you flirt with the cashier, and then you flirt with a man. I'm not fucking creature. flirting with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Flirting with the devil. Flirting with, with the, the devil. devil. Oh, nice. I love it. <laughs> it's flirting with disaster, but. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here we go. Oh, that's her. What's her name? I don't know. I I always recognize her, but I can never remember her name. Yeah, and uh, it it's the same cat, kind of thing. Oh, okay. That yeah, makes sense. Okay, that, that's then uh, we're all the same. That's funny. Okay. <clears throat> What's that lady's name, Melissa? The one from uh, Step Brothers that tries to fuck Dale? Yeah, you can see it. Oh. Catherine Hahn. Who? Catherine Hahn. Catherine Hahn. That's who that is. Yeah. So. That's who they got that from. Oh, I didn't know that. I had no idea. Yeah, they like mo-capped it. That's funny. That's cool. I don't even know where that appears in the game. I have no idea. Somewhere. It's been a little while since I played this game. I, When I first got the PlayStation 5, which would have been in November, um, this was the first game I played. This was the first game I bought. 
And that was also when I first discovered that you can play PlayStation 4 games on this. I did not know that. <laughs> that it's like almost entirely fully backwards compatible, save for like six games. There's seriously only, only like a list of like six games that won't work. Oh, nice. Um, so I thought that was interesting because at first I'm like, oh shit, like now I've got my whole back catalog of games that I could play on this. It's not just the Ratchet machine. Um, but I bought this and I bought that Lost Judgment game. You know which one that is? The Yakuza. Yeah. The sequel to the other one that we started and never came back to. Yeah. <laughs> I still haven't played that game. <laughs> I have it and I just haven't played it. I've seen it, you know, wasn't wasn't that interested in it. I don't know. I think I'd have to it doesn't have the same charm yeah, as the Yeah, I'd have to kind of games. I'd have to put more time into it, I think, at some point, but I'm not in any hurry for that. Yeah. Um but it was cheap. I got I got the other game for like really cheap, so I just figured, hey, why not? Nice. Something to have. But um uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of went into this game blind, too. I didn't really know anything about it, and that was, like, intentional, so that way I could kind of just enjoy it and have fun, and it's uh, a good game. Well, I like it. But yeah, I played it initially, and then I beat it, and then I, like, immediately started playing it again, and then, like, I got pretty much... I, sp- did, I saw you have 100%. Did so. a little bit of a speed run on it. Well, yeah, because doing the Platinum is, like, not that difficult. You just got to play through the game, basically. It's just like collectibles, and then like you oh. know, leveling up certain things and whatever. I remember those things. Does that? Yeah. Does that sync on Steam, PlayStation? It must, right? <clears throat> that's how else would you have seen it? I think it syncs on Steam or something. Probably. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I haven't really played it since I first played it in like November. I had, I got the PlayStation Five at just the right time because I got sick like the day after I got it. <laughs> Didn't put uh, sickness on it. No, it was just. I think it. Was, I think it was the Roni, dude. The I think, Roni. I think that was when I got the Roni. Well, because the day that I got it, I got off of work at like five or six o'clock, and then I wanted to just get it all done and taken care of. So I was um, uh, trading the PlayStation for some music gear with Dennis, as I'm sure you recall. Yeah. So I wanted to go to Chesterfield to pick up the PlayStation. And then I wanted to get this game, but they didn't have it there. Or I think they had it, but it was at full price. I'm like, you know what, I'll, you know, GameStop's right down the road. I'll take my chances. Yeah, someone probably already returned it. Yeah, and they and I think, sure enough, they did. So I bought it pre-owned. And then... What, it was like 10 bucks off? Yeah, I think it was maybe even cheaper than that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get it all taken care of so that way it was done. And then I went over and probably scared the shit out of Megan when I got there. <laughs> All the dogs are going nuts and whatever. Yeah. That, that is a normal thing at that house. He was, uh, I think, at a Smashing Pumpkins concert or something. Yep. Yeah, him and Mitch Strom. Mitchell Strom. Or Mitchell Evans. One of them might. I hope it was Mitch Evans, because I know he never really went to shows all that much before. He, he's been going a lot more now. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> like Dennis goes like every other fucking weekend yeah. <laughs> to his show. It's crazy. But Personally, before, I couldn't do that shit. That's too much. I don't think I could go that regularly. <clears throat> but we've certainly gone to like some back-to-back shows once or twice, but not very often. Yeah, it's just it's just too much. Like my ears are constantly hurting. And That's why your ear protection. Yeah, I know. Or yeah, we did that the one time we saw uh, Game Grumps, and then we saw Steel Panther the day after. Yep. I remember those days. Good times. Game Grumps is pretty cringe. It's pretty yeah, real. it was. <laughs> you know, I was telling you about... The, I haven't um, watched it in so long. I haven't either. You know, they... Um, I was telling you about the It's Always Sunny podcast earlier. Yep. They did um, live shows of the of the Sunny podcast, too, before, and they have um, footage of some of the shows on their YouTube channel. It's it's an interesting concept, because it's just like, you know, if it gains enough traction, why not just do a live show where people yeah. buy tickets for that? Yeah, and you get some extra, extra cash, and then... Yeah. It's one way to fucking do it. Mm-hmm. So Billy, oh, what have you been playing? What have I been? I, I told you earlier, but um, the hunt game. Yeah, uh, hunt showdown or shunt hoedown. Uh, shunt hoedown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd be interested in t- if that's at a decent price. Maybe I'll pick it up. I told you about that. Um, What's it fucking called? Exo Primal game? Mm-hmm. Did you add that to your list? Mm-hmm. Because I think that would be a stupid ass game for us to play together. But it looks 
I don't really know if you've seen much on it. Um, I haven't really looked anything up since it was announced, but like it looks like a stupid fun game, like Lost Planet esque type game. Yeah. Where you're like in these gigantic like robot suits, and I'm pretty sure you're fighting dinosaurs in it or something. You know me, I do love me oh, some I know. dinosaurs. I would have had you at the dinosaurs. <laughs> but I think, yeah, but it looks like Lost Planet, but with dinosaurs, basically. And I'm like, that looks like fun. Yeah, um, so I've been playing Hunt Showdown, um, Ark, Project Zomboid. I don't know what that is. Um, shit. Uh, to a fucking zombie game. Dying Light? Nope. Other zombie game? <laughs> that one's more like an infected game. Isn't, like, I've heard mixed things about Dying Light 2. Have you played it or no? No. No? I heard some people didn't really like it. I don't really, I haven't really paid attention to it and I haven't played it, so I don't know. The first game was cool. I liked the first one a lot. Yeah, I played the first one, beat it. That was a fun one. And then I just like had no... Mm, no want to... Excuse me. To play the... Uh, yeah, I've been... I've the been, new one. I haven't really been that interested in it either. I was... It piqued my interest in, like when it was first coming out. And then after that, I'm like, I don't really give a shit. So... <laughs> so basically, Billy, I don't know if you paid attention to the story in this so far. Not really. Clank rebuilt the Dimensionator so that way he can go and try to find the Lomb Axes. Oh, okay. So now, like, all these, of course, you know, wacky things ensue when Nefarious gets it and then starts opening dimensions to a bunch of different, you know, or opens portals to different dimensions and all these, this shit starts to intermingle and get funky and weird. So that's basically what's going on here. Okay, that makes sense. And that's and that's essentially how it explains the whole rivet being in the game because it's basically the, they're the same character just in different dimensions. Once a bit time. <laughs> Old Andy Fart. <laughs> That'll be like the kids' version. <laughs> so, other than those, um, I've also been playing Ixion, I think it's pronounced. Ixion? Is that the YouTuber Onision? Nope. Definitely not that guy. Thank God. How do you spell that? Um, it's like I X I O N E. Okay. Ow. Anyway, um, it is a It's a city builder kind of thing, but uh -huh. it's not because you're in a spaceship. Yeah. You launch. You're getting caught up in the game. Yeah, yeah. I, I Ooh, pretty colors. I like, I like nefarious. This happened in the last Ratchet game, I think, that we played. <laughs> you're in the middle of a sentence, and then you just start watching the cutscene. You're like, okay. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, what was I saying? It's a city builder game. Oh yeah, city builder game, but you're in space. You're basically a part of this group that um, launches up. Like a well, the space station, uh -huh. and it's to be for humanity to uh, get us to populate the other places in the world because uh -huh. Earth is slowly dying. Gotcha. And we're on the pirate ship now. I see that. And uh, after you get up there, you have to start building the base. Everything's great. And you're going to use the Helios Drive, uh -huh. which uh, will allow us to shoot ourselves farther into space. Mm -hmm. And 
uh, you know, allow us to populate other places that we haven't been yet. Because, like, on that we have a base on Mars, and we have a base on Earth. But it's a very small Mars base. Oh. And, uh, yeah, so you go... It's like a Sin City type thing, though. Yeah. No. Yeah. You go to the... You go chill next to the moon, mm-hmm. and you start your drives, and then uh, you tear the moon in half, because when the drive started, they malfunctioned. Yeah, um, yeah, they, uh, they ripped the moon in half and destroyed the earth. Uh-oh. And then you actually t- get transported further in time. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, you get a uh, future time where uh, everyone hates your corporation for destroying the earth. That's because interesting. the moon got, uh, got destroyed. And, uh, well, it's actually even farther past than that because everyone's now dead. Wow. So you have to rebuild and find a new planet to live on. That's interesting. So basically, yeah, you have to rebuild your station because it gets damaged in it. Rebuild your drive and then actually shoot yourself farther into where, like, there's the next uh, Earth-like planet. And, yeah, Mm -hmm. you have to rebuild the humanity. The only only reason... You're able to really even repopulate is that you keep finding um, people who have been sent into cryogenic pods. Oh. And you add them to your thing. And all that. That's cool. But I just started that, so I'm not sure there's going to be even more, like... Yeah. That's kind of an interesting take on that style of game, though. Yeah. Kind of puts it outside of, like... Just one... It sounds like... Do you, like, go to different locations and stuff? So it's not just like one city that you're building, it's like... It is one one space station that you're building, but you have to go and... Go to different planets. Yeah, and mine resources. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I'm not sure how big it gets or or how expansive, but... Yeah. That still sounds sounds cool, though. I've never really been into those types of games myself, but at least it's kind of different from what I would think of when it comes to like a city builder game. Yeah. Like, I still play Timberborn. Mm-hmm. Which is the Bieber city builder game? <laughs> the Dam Builder. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I like that one. That was fun. Um, oh, you know what game I got to do hard recently as well? Was um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Mm. That game Good was, game. That game's fucking great. It's hard. Yeah, I, like, at first I was unsure of it because I'm like, this looks like a shitty Oblivion game. Um, but like, it was, I got into it pretty deep for a little while there. I haven't played it in a while now, I just kind of stopped randomly, but like, it's a pretty, that game's pretty great. I did the same thing, I need to go back to it. Yeah. My main problem is that, when I started playing the game, I got pretty decent into it. (laughs) I heard that it didn't launch very well. Yeah. But. I got pretty into it, and then my save file got destroyed. Oh, Yeah. I would so then I had no yeah, that's a slow no game. want to come back. Yeah, that's a slow game to have to pick back up for sure. Right. But I feel like if I wait long enough, it'll become fresh again. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at too. I don't know. And i just been wanting to play some other games. Yeah, I've been playing fucking Red Dead recently, and I'm like, this game's good. Like, it's good. I got it on sale on Steam. I got it for like 20 bucks or something. So I've been playing that. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. Really, we're in a nefarious city. So we've gotten, we've gotten transported to a dimension where nefarious is the like emperor of the universe. I whatever. caught that part. Yeah. So we're in a nefarious city. So here's my problem here. It's like, you don't get Mr. You don't get Mr. Zircon in this game. You just get Miss Zircon and she sells you guns and stuff. What do you want? Do you want some of these? No. What do you want? I'm conjuring. Okay. I'm, I'm glad that they didn't just focus on her butt. <laughs> so there's this weird parallel thing where she's got a robot arm and so she's technically only got one arm. 
And then Clank loses his arm after the dimension air explodes or whatever. Yeah. So there's like this, like, we're the same, but we're not. Because you're an actual metal thing. And I am Lombax. Yeah. Yeah. I'm an android. You're a robot. There's a complete difference. There's the, um, so in this game you get different armor pieces. Mm -hmm. Um, I might actually have them available from the start of the game, because some of them are like, they added, like right when I bought the game, they added, uh, they added, um, newer, like, just like anniversary style ones for free. I just realized I gotta fix the cropping of this as well. That's okay. Yeah, so they have some of them. So like, when I, when I play as Rivet, I don't put any of them on because I think her design is great on itself because mm -hmm. otherwise it covers them up. But I like I like uh, um, that some of them that they have here. So like this one is from Crack and Time. Yep. This one I guess is technically from Ratchet and Clank Two. That would be Going Commando. Yep, Going Commando. This would be Deadlock, I which I think that is one. fucking. I think that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, obviously they got Clank. You want to be Clank? And then Quest. I don't know what that one is. Yeah. It's kind of like a... looks like Bioshock or something. Yeah, it looks kind of like... I that. usually go for the Marauder, and then I'll do maybe like a different one. Different pants. Different pants because then he gets the tail, but I think it's one that I unlock later. So you know what? I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with the Holoflux first, because I think it's a pretty classic look. You can change the color, which I don't really care about as much. Make it pink. They get a little lazy with some of the color swaps, I will admit, in this game, because the... Because <laughs> some of them, like... What's the difference? Like, just the tint of the things on his feet? Yep. All the pants are a little orange there. Like, some of them get kind of lazy. Yeah, I see that. <clears throat> so, that's the one other thing I complained about. But yeah, we'll be... Alright, we'll be pink. Pink, pink and blue, baby. I don't. Yeah, like the helmet doesn't get really pink, then, does it? No, it doesn't. I guess you could make that something else. I can do that one. That's close enough. Yeah, it's close. I wouldn't even get that impression from the square. No. <laughs> so right. wait, what's what's that one look like with the other ones? Well, it's like yellow and purple. That's huh. interesting. <gasps> no, we'll do the cotton candy look. All right. Like. Next time on Chinso Chips, we're gonna go through. Nefarious city. And see if there's any nefarious titties. plans happening. What? Titties? Nefarious titties. <laughs>